President Joe Biden faces criticism today for classified documents found at a private office. Isabel Rosales takes a look at what was reportedly in those files from when Biden was vice president. President Joe Biden under fire. Following revelations that 10 classified documents from his time as vice president were discovered among other materials by his personal attorneys at a private office in Washington, D.C., occupied by Biden from 2017 to 2019. The government materials found last fall were promptly turned over to the National Archives, which maintains the records of federal office holders when their service has ended. The White House Counsel's Office says the president was unaware the documents were there and doesn't know what they contain. But a source familiar with the matter says the materials covered topics including Ukraine, Iran and the United Kingdom. The U.S. attorney in Chicago is now reviewing the situation as the Justice Department determines how to proceed. The circumstances have some similarities to the scandal that enveloped former President Donald Trump, who is currently under investigation after scores of classified documents were uncovered at his Mar-a-Lago home during an FBI raid last August. But there are clear distinctions between the two cases, including the number of documents and types of classifications involved, the circumstances in which they were discovered, and the level of cooperation with federal authorities. Republicans, however, seizing on the controversy. How long have they been sitting around? Who had access uh, all of this time? How many people had access all of this time? Of course, people are asking, where's the FBI raid? The chair of the House Oversight Committee says he plans to press the National Archives for more information on the matter. In Washington, Isabel Rosales, WDRB News.